Hi friends, this video is from intb.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use the detach method in jQuery. In jQuery, the detach method removes the selected HTML elements, including all text and child nodes. The only difference between detach and remove method is detach method, it will keep the data and the events. So at later point of time, if you want to reinsert the removed elements, it is possible with detach. Okay, so detach method is useful when removed elements are to be reinserted into the DOM tree at the later point of time. This is the syntax for the detach API. I'm going to explain to you with a HTML code and I will show you a live demo. Here if you see, here I have two input elements, username, password. In, be in between these two input elements, I have a span and the paragraph. The scenario is I, I want to detach these two elements, span and the paragraph. How can I do it? I can give, I can give the selector a span dot detach and paragraph dot detach. Okay, so when I call this these two lines of code, the span elements will be detached and the paragraph elements will be detached. Let me show you the live demo. Here I have username, password, two input elements, but between between these two input elements, I have the span element, I have the paragraph element. So when I click on this button, see carefully, these two elements will be detached. Can you see? Two elements have disappeared now. How it's happening? I'll show you the code. I have called span.detach. So here is the span and here is the paragraph. So I've called detach, okay? This is how you can use the detach method in jQuery. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.